Hello, welcome to Sonography Radiology Training Channel. This series of videos is about fetal genitalia ultrasound. This is the sixth video in this video series with title of Prenatal Diagnosis of Hypospadias. The outline of this presentation include introduction, embryology, classification of hypospadias, the prenatal sonographic features, and final teaching points. At first, introduction. Hypospadias is characterized by an abnormal placement of external urethral meatus in male infants, usually accompanied by ventrally bent penile shaft with dorsal hood of prepuce. Hypospadias is the second most common urinary congenital anomaly secondary to undescendant testes and the most common congenital defect of external male genitalia with an incidence of 0.2 to 4.1 per 1,000 live male births. Its incidence show a doubling over the past 15 to 20 years. Reasons for the increase are not known, but one hypothesis suggests it could be a result of a rise in environmental estrogens. Hypospadias is often isolated and non-syndromic anomaly, about more than 80%. However, the proportion of isolated defects decreases with increasing severity at second and third degree of hypospadias. There are many syndromes that may be associated with hypospadias, including trisomies 13 and 18, and also androgen insensitivity syndrome and congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Also, there are some risk factors related to hypospadias, including advanced maternal age and maternal hypertension. Despite its high incidence, pronatal diagnosis is not that common due to the subtle findings of mild and moderate types which can easily be overlooked. Now, embryology. In hypospadias, fusion of the urethral folds is incomplete and abnormal openings of the urethra occur along the inferior aspect of the penis, usually near the glands, along the shaft, or near the base of the penis. When fusion of the urethra folds fails entirely, a white sagittal slit is found along the entire length of the penis and the scrotum. The two scrotal ceilings then closely resemble the labia majora. What is the classification of hypospadias? The condition is classified according to meatal location, which also reflects the severity. First degree or glandular or coronal type. The urethral opening is below the penis tip. At second degree, the urethra opens along the penile shaft. Third degree, the most severe form which occurs in 20% of cases, the urethra opening is at the penoscrotal junction or below the penis at scrotal or preneal areas. In second and third degree forms, the penis has a ventral curvature due to cordy, which is caused by atresia of the corpus spongiosum distal to the urethral meatus, which facilitates the prenatal diagnosis. The prenatal sonographic features. Although positive predictive value of prenatal diagnosis of hypospadias is reported to be 72%, it might be difficult, especially in those with first degree with meatus opening at the glandular or coronal, which need a color doppler to detect the specific jet of the urinary stream. Prenatal diagnosis is typically dependent on in direct ultrasonographic signs that are consequences of the distal urethral defect rather than a direct vision of the displaced urethral meatus. Detecting these findings and interpreting them in favor of hypospadias require operator experience. 
in certain cases it might even be challenging to distinguish between a slightly realized female external genitalia presenting clitoromegaly and hypoandrogenic external male genitalia presenting hypospadias on ultrasonography. Therefore, prenatal misdiagnosis is quite common. One of the sonographic features is blunted penile tip, means loss of the pointed tip of the penis which appears instead of a pointed cone in a normal fetus. Another finding is abnormal ventral curvature of the penis or cordy as I explained earlier. Another finding is a small penile shaft with two parallel echogenic lines representing the remains of the dorsal hood means dorsally thickened and ventrally incomplete prepuce. And the most famous sign is the tulip sign which results from severe curvature of the penis between the two scrotal folds which is similar to a tulip flower. This sign represents a severe form of hypospadias. Also, using power or color doppler to demonstrate the origin of the urinary stream during bladder emptying can also allow a diagnosis in some cases of hypospadias. In a normal fetus, if we are lucky and the fetus voids during our ultrasound exam, it's seen as a straight line from the tip of the penis. Now, we can review some abnormal cases. This is a fetus at 22 weeks of gestation with blunt instead of taper pointed penis tip. This color Doppler study showed the same fetus at 26 weeks of gestation with a stream of coarse urinary jets seen initially under color Doppler study. Another case we can see here fawning of the urinary stream jet proximal to the premium. Sagittal view of the same fetus show the ventral jet of urinary stream under color Doppler study. And this grayscale study shows split jet of urinary stream. Now, please pay attention to these final teaching points. The incidence of hypospadias shows a doubling over the past 15 to 20 years. It could be a result of a rise in environmental estrogens. Prenatal diagnosis of hypospadias might be difficult, especially in those with first degree. Prenatal diagnosis is typically dependent on indirect ultrasonographic signs that are the consequences of the distal urethral defect rather than a direct vision of the displaced urethral meatus. Also, it requires operator experience. Now, I suggest two others of my videos that are close to this video in terms of matter. And thank you for your attention.